Ria, it begs the question, what causes these larger than usual raindrops to occur? You see, we have light winds in place, and when rain is falling during light winds, sometimes you can get gust of winds higher up in the atmosphere that pushes the rain back up into the sky. It collects with more raindrops and causes these larger raindrops to make its way down to the surface. And that could hit your skin, becoming quite stinging, but it shouldn't cause any harm. And thankfully, the rain that we saw today in Port of Spain didn't cause any floods that we usually see typically see some street flooding. Now looking across the Atlantic, we're still in the Atlantic hurricane season. It ends next week, Tuesday, officially at November 30th. There are no systems we're monitoring across the Atlantic. There is a cold front that is moving across the Greater Antilles into the open Atlantic Ocean. No systems between Trinidad and Africa that we're monitoring for development. No tropical wave activity has ceased for the year. Now looking at close to home, what we can expect, we do have light winds and elevated moisture in place, a low level trough that's approaching the area, but we do have a suppressive mid to upper level atmosphere. Now we'll be keeping those showers relatively brief, low levels, so we don't expect any significant rains to occur. Still during the overnight hours, we could see one or two stray showers interrupt mostly settled conditions, partly cloudy skies, temperature wise in the low to mid 20s across both islands. And for tomorrow, mostly sunny for most, but during the late morning through the afternoon, mainly across western, southern, and hilly parts of Trinidad, even Tobago as well, you could see one or two stray showers. One of those could become thundery, mainly out in the Gulf of Paria, where conditions will be most favorable for the isolated thunderstorm to occur. And if that does occur on land, we'll be watching out for very localized areas of street or flash flooding and gusty winds, but those chances remain low for now. Now, Mariners sees are moderate with waves up to 1.5 meters in open waters. No long period swells affecting the area, so you'll just need to exercise caution during those showers or even possible thunderstorms. So what to expect as we head through the day tomorrow? I'll keep the umbrellas with you even though you may not need it. Try not to get caught in the rain like we did today. Now, isolated showers are possible during the late morning through the afternoon. No significant rainfall is expected. Maximum high tomorrow in the low 30s. And again, keep the umbrellas with you. Don't get caught in those larger than usual raindrops.